Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, it's a hot afternoon here in Olodo Abelkuta. And these birds you are seeing here are about 1,400. These are about 1,400 pieces of broilers. They were five weeks old as that yesterday. Five weeks old. And today is 25th of December 2020. So you can see as a farmer, we are doing our thing even on Christmas. So these birds are five weeks today. And here's what I want to say today. It's not been very easy managing their really good weight with the excess heat. The heat has been the challenge. I, I can tell most of the farmers can say the same thing that heat has been a challenge, especially in the last quarter of this year. So we are trying to battle with the heat. You can see them. And guess what? Their weight is really encouraging. It's really great. As at yesterday when we were but we sampled 100 out of this 1,400 beds. We sampled 100 and uh, we add weights even up to 3 kg. Some of them weigh up to 3 kg, some up to 2.9, 2.8, 2.7, 2.6, 2.4, 2.5. 2.4, 2.5. And um, that's, yeah, that's what we got. A very few number of them, the runs, I guess weigh about 1.8 kg but they, they were very few so I can tell that this is exceptional this is really good this is really good weight in five weeks um, we are so damn sure that at six weeks which is the target we'll have three kg and even more than that three kg and more than that so here's what we have done we have two fans two ox fans this is what we got to manage for now Maybe the time we'll get the other type the square type fan you can see another one over there so these fans get to rotate from each angle of the house blowing cool air to the birds that's what we have been doing and uh, we have been able to slow down the each challenge because occasionally before the use of this fan sometimes you get a few number of birds up each, each stroke and they just die so something has to be done and this is what we have resolved to this is what we have been doing and uh, it has to put excess uh it has to put extra extra pressure on our cost of production you know you have to run the generator this place is in the bush as you can see you can see you can see farmland yeah so this place is right here in the bush so there's no light there's no electricity we have to use the generator and uh, another thing another measure we are put into place get go is to have a water container the tank right here inside the pen instead of using the ones outside because of the direct impact of the sun the ones the tanks outside are, are exposed to the sun and uh, the water gets a little warm in the course of the day yeah, I'm going to show you now, although we are planning to also provide a shade for the water outside. You can see the water tank over there. Yes. yes so lastly, one of the things we, get, we got to do is to, is to now ration their feed. Yeah, from the onset, we have been feeding them 24 hours a day. They get to hit 
and drink around the clock you can see the light bulbs over here yes the light bulbs up there they come up in the night when we put on the generator so these birds have been getting access to feed all around they have been hitting at libitum so right now what we decided to do at this age they they are actually able to hit between nine to ten bags a day these guys you are seeing here this 1400 birds they are capable of eating nine to ten bags a day but what we now do is when we are giving them feed in the evening we don't give up to that number we just give them about six bags just enough to take them through the night the night is very cool so we try to maximize that that window so they eat the food from the night hour to the early hours and of the morning and by afternoon the feed buckets are almost empty i'm going to show you i'm going to show you right now this is one of them see the feed bucket is almost empty so they are not so encouraged to take feed except they are so hungry and uh, that way we are able to reduce the metabolism you know feed metabolism alone causes a lot of heat in the body of the birds because these birds are meat birds i call them meat machines so once they heat food the body is trying to convert it ooh, 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 into meat and in the process as a machine you know it is created and that it is not good when the environmental temperature is also on the high so this is what we, we have been doing in the, since the past few days now you can see you can see you can see usually it's supposed to still be here but you know everything is just down only the hungry guys who go for food only the very hungry guys will go for food so that's how we have done even on this lane you can see everything is just almost out almost out so this way we are able to control the body temperature of the birds and the water i'm gonna touch it right now the water is also cool yes the water is very cool i wish i can show you guys but it's not possible except with uh, a thermometer uh, so i can't do that but it's i believe you trust me yeah it's so cool the water is so cool so cool so that's is that's what we've done try to provide them with fans to blow cool hair and the fan is also pos positioned in the in the cooler side of the house if you can let me move back a little and show you something real fast okay you look if you look at the way the birds are arranged you see some of them on the side walls some of them on the side wall on this left to this left to my left some of them on the side wall to my right but at this center towards the right you see a lot of them there and uh, here where my hand is pointing you see most of them are vacating the area why because the sun is coming from this direction you can see how we we lifted the tent the the, the canopy we kind of lifted it so that we can stop the sun from coming in but you know the heat from this canopy still affects this area a little bit i wish i can just draw uh, uh make a 3d drawing to show how the heat still radiates in this area but that, just take it as i've said it the heat still radiates right from this canopy it radiates and affects this area almost directly so most of them vacate that area and try to move to the cooler part of the house so the fan blows cool hair from this angle through this and through to this side so the fan the water tank and the feed these three helped a lot to reduce the impact of the heat and another thing you want to do which is the final i'm going to be saying now another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are checking the birds frequently you want to make sure that you are taking walks around the 
pen occasionally so that if you see any bed under um, each stress you can be able to revive the bed i have a video about i did about how to revive birds that are having each stroke so it really works it works good at least we've been able to save over 10 over 10 birds in this house using that uh that method of reviving birds so that is what we have that is what i have for you guys today and that is what i have so this is what we had this is what we are doing at the moment and um, by the grace of god these birds will be going out anytime from now they are already uh they have already reached the weight for processing so they can they can move anytime from now they can move anytime from now they are good, doing pretty good they are doing pretty well the weight is encouraging which is so so encouraging well it, it, both the females the males they are really good and once um yeah let me say this this birds are aggregated i know some of you will be asking whoa what what's the hatchery what feed are you using yes these birds are aggregated ross 308 and they've proven to be the best at maximizing the feed in the space of six weeks yes ross 308 has proven to be the best at doing the six weeks thing and uh, we are glad we got that choice so thank you all for watching i'll see you some other time please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and also share the video for others to see Thank you. See you in the next video.